So guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about different types of EC2 instances available in AWS. So in uh, EC2, there are different categories like general purpose, as you can see on the screen, general purpose, compute optimized, memory optimized, accelerated computing, storage optimized. So they have divided these EC2 instances into these categories based upon the use cases and the types of processor, type of memory that is being used in those instances. So for example, if you talk about the general purpose instances, if you look at the use cases, these kinds of instances are suitable for website and web applications, development environments, build servers, code repositories, microservices, test and uh, staging environments, and line of business applications. So if you want to do these kinds of applications, if you want to deploy these kinds of applications on AWS, then these instances will be more efficient and cost effective. And again, in general purpose, you can see that there are different types like A1, M4, M5, T4, T3, like that, and Mac. So if you want to run the applications on Mac operating system, you will go for this instance. And uh, these other instances are created based upon different types of processors and uh, memory. So if you talk about T4, you can see that they are powered by Graviton 2 processors and deliver up to 40% better price performance over T3 instances for the broad set of bustable general purpose workloads. Also, we can see that they, these instances have been divided into nano, micro, small, medium, etc. So when we talk about these large instances, most of the time they will have more uh, CPUs and uh, more memory as well. Okay, that's how they have categorized these instances. Now if we talk about the compute optimized instances, just look at the use cases. So these kinds of instances are suitable for high performance computing, batch processing, ad serving, video encoding, gaming, scientific modeling, distributed analytics and CPU based machine learning inference. And if you look at the table again, there is a medium large instances. And if you look at these virtual CPUs in large instances, there are more virtual CPUs and more memory as well. And again, there, there will be some differences in terms of the processors that are being used. For example, in C7G, they are using this Graviton 3 processor, while if you talk about C6, you can see they are using Graviton 2 processors. And in the C6, they are using Intel processors. So that's how they have divided these instances. Then next, uh, let us talk about the memory optimized instances. If you look, look at the use cases, these instances are suitable for memory intensive applications such as open source databases, in-memory cache and real-time big data analytics. And again, there is a large medium instances available in these categories. And the number of CPUs are different, memory is different, instance storage is EBS only plus there is SSD drives as well. Then if you talk about the accelerated computing, let's uh, have a look at the use cases where we can use these kinds of uh, instances. So these are suitable for machine learning, high performance computing, computational fluid dynamics, computational finance, seismic analysis, speech recognition, autonomous vehicles and drug discovery. And there is these two instances available, eight uh, GPUs and uh, virtual CPUs 96. So you can see that there is a graphical processing units available in these instances which are useful and required for efficient processing in machine learning and high performance computing applications. And also look at this memory size is also very high. 1152 GB that is massive massive memory. And those instances uh, will be also very costly as well. So don't go for these instances unless your application needs it. Most of the time you will be launching the instances uh, which are like general purpose but it depends on what kind of applications you want to run what is the how much you want to scale it the final uh, category is storage optimized and these instances are suitable for mysql mariadb postgres S, uh, postgres sql no sql these kinds of databases where in input output intensive operations are more okay and if you look at this instance storage you can see they are using this nitro ssd hard disk in those instances I think that's it. Uh, that is how uh, you can find out like what instance is suitable for your application and uh, based upon these tables, you can uh, figure out like which instance you should be launching. Thank you for watching.